Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. This one should be pretty fun because I need to get my shit together. It is a getting my shit together video. So let me give you a little backstory. Right after we got back from Thanksgiving, I posted that decorating for Christmas video on Black Friday. I think like three days after that, I got the flu. And I was so mad because I've been so like consistent for me, consistent for me on YouTube lately. And I just love YouTube. It's pretty much my favorite platform to post on. And I had this schedule in mind for the videos that I was gonna film and post all through December. And then I got the flu and it just got totally thrown out of whack. And we had just come back from Thanksgiving. So traveling had like thrown my schedule out of whack. And then I was the sickest that I think I've ever been in my entire life. I had COVID earlier this year and having the flu was like, so much worse than having COVID. And my mom actually told me that she saw on the news that this is the worst flu season in like 20 years. So if you've had it this year, then you know what I was talking about, but I was just so, so, so sick. So Matt was taking care of me. I like couldn't get out of bed for most of the time. I just kind of got like thrown off kilter. But now the apartment definitely needs a deep clean. I need to plan for the rest of the month and just kind of like get on track and get out of a rut. So it is Sunday morning right now. I've woken up feeling very motivated and determined. I just came out of the bedroom looking so sleepy and confused. I woke up on the right side of the bed and I'm going on a tear today. So yeah, my agenda for today is to deep clean the apartment and just get it looking beautiful. I also want to film a cleaning video for TikTok today, kind of Clara style. I'll credit her because this is definitely going to be inspired by Clara. So I'm charging up my second phone. It's not really like... It sounds very bougie to be like my second phone. It's just an old phone that I never got rid of. And sometimes if I'm gonna be filming something that takes a really long time, I'll film on my old phone so that I can still use my like actual phone to listen to music and stuff. So I'm charging up that. And we just ordered some food. We have breakfast bagels and smoothies, but I just brushed my teeth, so I don't know if I'm gonna eat breakfast yet. This is a Sunday morning breakfast fit for kings. We have breakfast potatoes, French toast sticks, some absolutely killer, killer, killer bagels. Let me get a close up, like nice, sexy shot of these bagels. And then we have smoothies from Smoothie King and orange juice. Feeling good? Hopefully feeling better after this. <laughs> that was probably the best breakfast I've ever had. I'm sucking on a cough drop, sorry. Okay, so what do I do first? I think I need to do about 752 loads of laundry today. So I probably should start putting laundry in, but it's just weird when I'm filming for multiple mediums because there's just a lot of like setup. This is my old phone. I think it's the iPhone 11. It doesn't hold a charge very well anymore. That's why it's my old phone. So I'm just gonna film, 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 pause, charge my phone, film, 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 film. If you are a content creator, aspiring content creator, if you just for whatever reason need a tripod, I really highly recommend this one. I'll link it in the description box. It's from Amazon. It's just super portable. So the whole thing folds up into this little cylinder like that. And then it just like expands from there. And it's just really customizable and you can move the part that holds your phone a ton of different ways. I just love it. I really recommend this. Okay, this is really extra, but I put time and thought and energy into my videos, so I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna listen to my AirPod Maxes, and they have this pink silicone cover on them, which I really, really love. Um, also from Amazon, but I feel like it doesn't match my outfit, so I'm going to take the covers off solely to film because I just feel like it will look better overall. The cool thing about these covers is that they are really easy to take on and off, so it doesn't matter. I will link these below as well if Anybody wants them. I think I'll show you how I set up the first couple of shots and then I'm just gonna need to montage a lot of things because I don't want cleaning to be the only thing I do in this video and this is gonna take me a long time. And if I have to move like my phone tripod and this tripod all over the entire house every single time I clean something new, I'm just never gonna get done. So I'll just do the first couple things. Okay, that's fine. And then I need to set up the other tripod. Hope I have enough video storage on this phone. I think I need to film from this angle that I can capture the shot correctly. And now that my two cameras are set up, now I can go put my headphones on, start my music, get the laundry and start going.
I've been so productive. I'm actually really proud of myself. I haven't been filming a ton on here just because moving the camera around and moving my tripod around and my phone and everything is just it's making it take forever. But I have finished the living room in our dining corner and the kitchen and I'm sitting in my office and I just finished this and I did the guest bathroom. So next I'm gonna do our shoe rack area and then Matt and I's bathroom and I have laundry just constantly going on a cycle. I need to wash our bed stuff. And if you're wondering why Matt is not doing this with me, kind of like take turns. I don't know, I just feel like we separate work in a very fluid way and we just kind of have a pattern that works for us. Some weeks he does all the cleaning and all the cooking and I don't touch anything. And now like this weekend I'm doing it also because I wanted to film everything. I like can't have him cleaning things that I want to clean and film and I don't want him like getting in the way. So I told him that he's not allowed to touch anything. So he's actually parked on the couch. He says he feels sick. He's like convinced that I made him sick and that he's sick. I actually think he's just a little hungover, but like I mentioned that and he was like, no, I'm sick. I'm like, I think you're just hungover because we went to a Christmas party last night. But anyway, in case you were wondering, that's why I'm doing all the cleaning. I literally told him not to. Also, I'm not going to take my hair down to show you, but you may have seen already that I dyed my hair and I'm like basically a blondie now. That's a little bit dramatic. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but no. I spent eight hours getting a color correction, getting my hair redone. So I need to wash it tonight and I'll show you when I take it all down. I'm listening to this manifestation podcast. I just finished listening to Peyton's master list of like favorite things for 2022. I'm actually planning on making an entire video. That's like my absolute favorite things from 2022. So look out for that in the coming couple of weeks. So I just finished listening to that. And then one of the things that she recommended was this podcast called Expanded by To Be Magnetic. I'm listening to this, How to Manifest Anything You Want, or what is it called? How to Manifest Anything You Desire, and it's by Expanded by To Be Magnetic. And they are presenting manifestation in a way that I've like really never ever thought about it before. So that's really interesting to me. And they are starting, there's like a manifestation challenge going on that they're hosting um, over the holiday season. And I think I'm gonna join just to kind of start the new year in a really positive, decluttered, intentional headspace. So probably check my other socials for updates on how that manifestation challenge is going. Um, I really, <sighs> this year has been a really, really weird one for me. I just saw this TikTok the other day. It was like one of those, um, TikTok astrologers that was like, if you have Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio placements, don't worry because you're finally gonna catch a break in 2023. And it's gonna start being like your year. Um, and it was talking about how Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio placements have had issues in the last two or three years. And I like am extremely skeptical of TikTok astrologers, like so skeptical of them. But that was one where I like jaw dropped and I saved it because this year has been incredible and I've had a lot of blessings in so many areas. And at the same time, it's also been one of the worst years for my mental health that I've ever had. And there have been things that have happened behind the scenes that I've never talked about on social media that have been really, really difficult. Everyone talks about like, oh, social media is a highlight reel and we all know that, but yeah. I mean, I, I don't know, just another reminder, I guess, that like there are a lot of things that happen in my life that I just don't think would be appropriate to bring to social media. I don't think it would be good for me and no one probably cares to listen to it anyway. So there's just been things that have happened this year that um, I really had a hard time dealing with and my mental health in particular has been so bad. You guys know that I developed OCD kind of out of nowhere this year. Whether the TikTok astrologer was correct and like legal placements are finally getting a break or whether I just need to like go to therapy. I mean, I definitely do. <laughs> I think I have a lot of inner child work I need to do. I think I just have some issues that I have been ignoring for the last couple of years and it's time to just get a therapist and to really work through them and address them. Either way, I don't want 2023 to, to go the same route that this year did for me. And again, I'm, I'm not trying to complain because I know that I've had so many privileges and so many blessings and I'm very, very grateful for them. In some ways it's been like a fantastic year and then in other ways it's just been <laughs> so I just want to enter 2023, leaving the past in the past, thinking to myself, okay, like I'm going to take all of the hurt and all of the pain that I felt this year and just 
work through it and acknowledge it, but then just put it in a box and leave it in this year and um, really focus on my future and my goals and just always trying to become a better person and trying to truly, like I'm truly just trying to become a better person every single day um, and just focusing on that. So that was a really long rambling thing, but December is always a very reflective time, I think for everybody. Also the chair is squeaking. It sounds like, I don't know what it sounds like, but the chair is squeaking. Um, I think a lot of people start to feel really reflective this time of year. And I'm doing this entire series on my TikTok right now about like hibernation era because I just take winter and hibernation like so seriously. And I think this is a perfect time of year to slow down and focus on the small things and sort of realign with yourself and realign with your goals. And I don't mean goals in like a toxic hustle culture kind of way. I just mean goals in literally just like what do you, what, what do you want your life to look like? And I just think this is the perfect time to kind of realign. So that is what I am focusing on and this podcast is talking about manifestation in a couple ways I've never heard before and it's just making me feel really inspired to start manifesting again because I feel like I stopped trying to manifest completely for a long time this year because I just felt so discouraged and my headspace was so negative and you can't really approach manifestation um, in a shitty headspace. So I just didn't manifest because I couldn't get out of that shitty headspace. Another one of my goals for 2023 is to kind of not stop TikTok, but to sort of reevaluate my relationship with TikTok because personally for me, it is by far the most toxic social media platform. And I cannot maintain an extremely active presence on TikTok and feel sane at the same time. So if I'm going to ease back from TikTok a little bit, I want to create more content um, on Instagram and on YouTube. And I would really love to start a podcast in 2023 and just that kind of that kind of thing. That was like a really long rambling thing. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little update as to what's happening with me and what I'm hoping to get out of the next month or two. Um, and let me know if, if that's interesting to you and maybe I can talk more about it. But. Anyway, hopefully my phone should be charged enough to let me get through at least the shoe rack and the bathroom. And then honestly, I don't think I'm gonna go crazy in the bedroom. Crazy in the bedroom. done the house looks so good this took like four hours and i still need to edit and post the tiktok but i'll give you a little overview the kitchen is looking stunning i just finished mopping you're a lucky boy that oh, okay. i wanted to film that today <laughs> lucky lucky boy uh well no matt does honestly more around the house than i do but <laughs> got the tree going looks so cute i think i'm gonna light my Newest favorite candle. So I have I have two favorite candles right now. The first one, I just blew this out a minute ago. It's the Ash by Boy Smells. I got this little sample just to make sure I liked it. As you can see, I love it. And I actually just ordered the full size off of Amazon. The other, well, I guess I should say the other two. This one is the Glossier U candle. As you guys know, Glossier U is my favorite perfume of all time. And I really, really like the way this candle smells. I've never seen a candle bubble like that, but yeah, I love that. And then this is the one I was talking about. This is Replicas by The Fireplace. I have this perfume and I absolutely love it. It's just a perfect, perfect, perfect fall and winter perfume. And this smells so strongly of being by a fireplace. It's insane. Now guys, it is 3 p.m. We need to edit and post the TikTok. And then I need to, well, there's still laundry that kind of just needs to keep cycling through the washer dryer. Would love to read my book, but I think before I do that, I need to, do a lot of like, not a lot, but just some computer work, some emails, some calendar scheduling, and just really get set for the coming week because last week um, I was sick for the first part of it and then it threw my whole week out of whack. So I just need to, this whole vlog is just about like getting on track. So 
I finished editing the TikTok. That took about another hour. I use CapCut, so it's just exporting now. And then I'll need to pick an audio. I wanna pick something either by Ed Sheeran or Bon Iver, because I like to pick background music that sort of emulate the vibe that existed while I was doing the thing that I was filming. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pick some calming music and it's a full minute long, so hopefully it's not too long. All in all, this TikTok took about five hours to make. So if you see it on my account, just know this was a labor of love. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. Okay, so I picked Afterglow by Ed Sheeran. I'm just doing my little caption, which is just a deep clean after being sick. And that's gonna be the vibe. My caption is just gonna be getting ready for a new week with a little snowflake and tea emoji. And then I'm gonna go in and select my cover. I don't know, something that feels dynamic. Mm. I always overthink selecting my cover because that is what people will see when they click onto your page. So it's, I feel like it's a really important um, part of the video. I'm doing this one that still shows the title, which is a deep clean after being sick, and it shows me doing laundry, and I feel like that kind of communicates the vibe of the video. And then caption, getting ready for a new week. After I post it, I'm gonna make a comment saying channeling my inner Clara purse, and then tag Clara, just because this isn't like directly related to her content at all, but she pretty much invented the Sunday reset, and this is a cleaning video that I'm posting on Sunday, and I'm also using her iconic steam mop, so I know that a lot of people post cleaning videos on Sunday, but in my mind, Clara invented Sunday resets, and so I just wanna give her a little shout out. I'm just gonna watch it a couple more times to make sure that I like the music, but I think I do, and then I will post. Okay, so I don't always have time to do this if it's a really busy day, but I like to, take some time, like 30 minutes after I post a TikTok to read comments and answer any questions people might have um, and just respond to people. So I'm gonna finish my leftovers from breakfast and then do that and then just catch up. I haven't done a lot of like scrolling today. I'm trying to limit my scrolling time. I feel like I deserve a little break, so I'm gonna do that. So the products that I use change based on the type of shower that I'm gonna be taking but this is what I'm gonna use tonight. So I'm gonna double wash my hair, like shampoo twice with the Briogeo Superfoods Matcha and Apple shampoo. I've been liking that. And then the conditioner is just the matching one. It's the Superfoods conditioner. If I don't use the conditioner, I'll use the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Apple Honey Deep Conditioning Mask. And then I'm gonna use the Tatcha Camellia Cleansing Oil to like oil cleanse my face. And then I'm gonna use the La Roche-Posay Tolarian Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I have really, really been loving this face wash lately. And then for my body, I am gonna use the Tula Skin Care Take Care Plus Indulge Banana Pudding Cleansing Body Exfoliator. And then for my body wash, I'm gonna do the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream, and it's the same scent as the Bum Bum Cream. So obviously I knew that bleaching my hair for eight hours on Thursday was going to damage it and it was going to be more dry, but I didn't really know what to expect going into my shower because I feel like your hair always feels different after the stylist like dries it and styles it. So I didn't really know what to expect and the weird thing was that it got really, really tangled while I was shampooing it. That has never happened before, but as I was like scrubbing and shampooing my scalp, all of the, not like the ends of my hair, but all of the hair that sits like right next to my head got really tangled. So that was really weird. I had to do a deep conditioning mask and like comb out my hair in the shower. So hopefully it's fine. I mean, it definitely does feel a little bit more dry, obviously. It honestly doesn't feel that bad though. I feel sick to my stomach right now, probably because I have not had a vegetable in like two days and I especially ate like shit today. Um, so my stomach kind of hurts and I, yeah, I feel like almost a little bit queasy, so I really don't wanna leave this bed. It is 6.10, um, but I don't think I'm gonna leave this bed. Good morning, guys. So last night, I just completely conked out. Didn't even feel bad about it. Honestly, I slept so well as well. So now we have a little bit of work to do, a little bit of catching up to do before work starts for the morning. So I think I'm going to journal because I really need to get back into that. And then I'm gonna do some digital planning, but I think I might do digital planning first so I can show you guys and then I can kind of turn the camera off and kind of get into my personal morning routine, you know? Like I like filming things to show you guys, but I also have to be conscious of the camera and the angles. I am going to pull out my iPad and start digitally planning and I'll show you guys my process. So nice working at my 
clean desk in my clean office because I spend so much time working on it yesterday. Here's my little work from home fit, just a tiny little t-shirt, sweatpants, and some of the same slippers that I always wear. I've been loving putting my hair up in this clip in this like specific way to have the little thing up here. And then I did do full makeup this morning because I filmed um, a TikTok about it. So those are clothes that need to be donated. Just have my tripods randomly up, my little desk set up with my tailbone pillow. So that's the little setup we have. I have a fresh cup of peppermint tea brewing and water in my Stanley cup. So I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm not really sure of the best way to film this. I don't have a tripod that can put the camera um, in the right position. So I'm gonna try to hold it and hope this isn't too bad. But this is a weekly dashboard planner from Flourish Planner, which I really love. It just looks like this. It has a bunch of prompts. It kind of encourages a little bit of reflection, some habit tracking. Um, she has loads of different ones and the ones that I use change all the time, but this is what we're working with right now. And then here's what it looks like all filled out. So this is not for work. This is for personal stuff and also my school. So as you can see, I say, what will make this week feel great? Well, not feeling behind anymore, like feeling caught up and not feeling like I'm in a rut or I'm ignoring my responsibilities. So then I'm able to map out, okay, what will it take to make me feel like I'm not behind anymore? And then I can write out my little weekly to-do list. Um, these are, the modules are a school thing. And then these are just some things I need to do. A couple Christmas gifts I need to buy, a couple things around the house. And it can be like anything. I really write everything on my to-do list. I'd like want to research how to lower my cortisol naturally because I live in permanent flight mode. And I think it's really bad for my stomach. So like research cortisol is on here. Um, do a Olaplex hair mask. Like it, I really just write down everything that I just want to accomplish. And then for my workout schedule, as you can see, I said like, what will make me feel not behind anymore? Exercising at least once because I have not been exercising at all lately. So I don't want to throw myself into the deep end. So I've written out rest days and then just some really gentle low key exercising. The Stairmaster is the only one that's like a big workout. The, a long walk is more for mental health than for anything. And then I'm going ice skating with friends on Saturday which I wouldn't really call like a workout, but it is a form of movement that will make me feel like active and healthy. So I just wrote it down anyway. And I always make sure to write down rest days because then I don't feel guilty for taking them. Here are my habits that I'm gonna be tracking. And that's what this looks like. And then there's also a little section um, so I can write down the podcast that I'm really liking this week, which is expanded by To Be Magnetic. It's about manifestation and then the book that I'm reading. And then this is my daily planner spread, which I will go ahead and fill out now. And this has a more detailed, like like daily to-do list. And then this is where I track my work that needs to be done, assignments, projects, deadlines, meetings, phone calls, um, things like that. It's not a super busy week, honestly. I had a really busy month in October and a busy month in November. And then I very intentionally going into December, tried to make sure that all of my big obligations were gonna be over the week before Christmas because uh, we're going home for Christmas um, to be with my parents and I didn't want to be stressed about deadlines or anything while we were home. So in December, I scheduled out, like two months ago, I scheduled out a lot of my work stuff so that I could kind of be slowing down this week. So this is the week where things are like winding down. I do have a bunch of meetings this week, but those are just Zoom calls, so that's no big deal. And then I only have two project deadlines this week, which is much less than normal. So I'm really glad about that because I'm really excited to take some time off for the holidays. We're going home to be with my family for Christmas. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get to see all my siblings. Everyone's gonna be all in one place. Place, which does not happen very often. So I'm very excited about that. And then I'm gonna catch up on my emails and then I have a bunch of stuff I need to print out for school. Um, so I need to figure out how to use the printer in my building. So I actually have not used it yet. And I really should buy a printer. That would be an incredible work expense. And I would love to be able to have another tax write off for this year. So maybe I should just be buying a planner or sorry, buying a printer. Um, and then the day will get started. And then I, oh, and I would need the journal. I do want a journal. exhausted it's a few days later i have been working so hard today on finishing my school and i'm actually about to press submit on my last assignment of this quarter and i thought i would share this moment with you guys because this entire vlog has been about just getting on track getting out of a rut getting myself together and 
Nothing feels more like I am together now than pressing submit on this final project because I had gotten really behind on my, not really behind, but I'd gotten behind on my school and that was such a huge goal for me this week and I'm doing it. And it's also just a big moment for me because you guys know how much this means to me and how long I wanted to go back to school and just how important this is. And I'm just feeling very reflective and feeling proud of myself and kind of emotional and very, very grateful um, that I've been able to start this journey this year because I didn't think I would. I honestly had no idea when I'd be able to go back to school and this just means like everything to me. <laughs> so it is, what time is it? It's almost eight o'clock. I have been working since the crack of dawn this morning trying to get everything done today. I had a couple of assignments that needed to be finished. Everything needs to be finished by tomorrow night. And I have a lot of things I have to do tomorrow. So I didn't think I'd have enough time to sit down and work on them. So I was a little bit behind and I just set aside this entire day to really, really grind and it's done. And it's almost eight o'clock. I'm about to press submit and then I'm gonna go eat dinner that Matt made and we're gonna watch Yellowstone. But I just thought I would share this moment with you guys. This is so huge and I'm just, I don't know, I'm just shocked. Like I'm just absolutely shocked. I'm scrolling through it one more time to make sure that I really did do everything. I just can't believe that it's done. I can't wait to just turn my brain off and know that I accomplished a goal that I set for myself. So I'm really excited. I'm actually vlogging today for TikTok as well. So I need to put this clip of me finishing this assignment in TikTok. Okay, here we go. I'm clicking submit. <sighs> Oh my God. Please take this end of course survey. <sighs> okay, fine, I'll do it. Wanted to get this vlog up on Wednesday and I haven't even finished filming it yet. That's just how this week has gone. But I will say I have done pretty well on the goals I set for myself that you saw earlier. I've been journaling every day. I didn't read yesterday, but I actually just got a new book in the mail called Wintering. And I'm excited to read that. Kind of goes along with the hibernation era vibes that are on my TikTok right now, which I'm really excited about. I have not worked out a single time. In my head, originally, I was gonna take you guys to the gym with me and that was gonna be like the final little bit in this video. And school and work just got in the way and that's not happening, but I'm not gonna feel bad about it because I literally just did something so cool. I just finished my first quarter um, in my post-grad education and that is so cool and I'm not gonna feel bad about myself that I didn't go like go on the Stairmaster when I just accomplished this thing that I've been wanting to accomplish for literally years. I don't know if I'm telling you guys that or if I'm telling me that, but either way. Yeah. I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Love you guys, thank you so much. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching and supporting me. Please leave a comment of what you wanna see next and if anything in this video resonated with you because I feel like I touched on a lot of different topics definitely comment and let me know. I love when I feel like I'm going through something and then you guys are going through the same things. That just makes us feel like, I don't know, it's a nice little community thing. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.